Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are here with another exciting review uh, with Terrainify products. We've got some brand new stuff here to show you. Uh, very excited. Some nice dynamic hills uh, in various themes that I think you guys will enjoy. Uh, if you have not seen our first Terrainify review, you it's should go good, watch it. It's a good one. It's awesome. Top uh, we've 10. Had, yeah, top 10. Uh, we, we've had several battle reports featuring Terrainify pieces, uh, which you can also check out as well, so you can see them live and in action. But guys, this stuff is next level, top notch. Uh, so stick around. We're going to take a look at some new stuff. It's coming right up. And we're back. Back. We're back. Magic. <laughs> Things appear in front of us. Uh, so we've got a little bit of the old stuff, a little bit of the new stuff. Wanted to show it all uh, just to do some compare and contrast in case you did not immediately go back and watch our prior review in between then and now. When will then be now? Soon. Who, when was then? When was then? <laughs> That's the question. We got an advanced copy of this, of this uh, screening. Who remembers Spaceballs? If you remember Spaceballs, leave it in the comments. Oh, that reminds me. Guys, if you want to help out the channel, subscribe, like right now. Uh, also, leave us a like, leave us a comment after the video or during the video. We always love the mid-video comments. They're our favorite. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to help out the channel more, you can head on over to Patreon. $1, $5, $10, or $40. That's for the ballers, the elites. Yeah. Uh, but all the tiers have different perks uh, and fun things. Of course, even just a dollar a month helps out. So yeah. The one tier, uh, you get his uh, phone number. Get my phone number. And a special uh, ringtone. Special ringtone. I put all of the $1 patrons in my phone. But you only get the generic ringtone. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about Terrainify. So yeah. Terrainify was founded in 2016, Tom, by John, the mastermind. All right. And he had a vision uh, for a three-dimensional tabletop filled with glorious pieces of terrain uh, that he could make with a 3D printer. And uh, he has done it. Folks, he's done it. Uh, they're actually located, and uh, and all the stuff is made right here in the USA. Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. That's right. Uh, right Everything the, good comes from Omaha. I think we're, I think I asked this last time. That is the heartland, right? The heartland. Omaha of steaks. Warren Buffett. Yeah, Warren. Is it buffet or Buffett? Warren buffet. <laughs> Warren buffet. <laughs> oh my God! All right. Target. So we've got we've got some exciting stuff here, but it's important yeah. to say that their products come in three different flavors, Tom. Yeah. STL files, which I cannot show you because they are just digital. They're, they exist, though. Can we get, like, a digital ball? Like in my hand? Yeah, I'll, I'll work on that. Yeah, like a spinning file. Uh, I will do it. Okay. Right there. And they can click on it. Second is printed but unpainted. And then lastly is fully finished. Okay. And and there's no, like, it's this or it's this is it for right. the finish. Well, there are different. They all come at this level. There are different levels of finished right okay you can there's just get them painted right and that's the basic correct they have eight i think that's right yeah i think they have eight different schemes you can get in the basic painted yeah. but when you move up to like this flocking and right the flocking things, and the little details and things would you call that lichen or would yeah. this be detritus <laughs> detritus how do you say that word <laughs> uh but there is definitely this is like the the, the top tier yeah. all right this is like the, the the gold package the platinum package even yeah. i would say uh, but you can't just get them painted but if, if it were me, I would either go go for broke or I would buy them like this and then just take them outside, spray them with a spray primer, maybe a little airbrushing and you're done. Yeah. Uh, very quick, right? Yeah. And, and you can get them relatively inexpensive. If you have your own 3D printer, you can just get the, uh, the yeah. STL files, I which mean, is fantastic. Yeah, I would say just, just from my, my limited experience in, in war game painting, um, it requires quite a bit. I think um, to, get to, the, to get it yeah, to yeah, you need like, like technique, and also you need a couple supplies, and they're not expensive, but it's like another thing you have to maintain. Like I don't even know. I think this is probably what like glue and some kind of I have no idea. It's more like, magic. Yeah, could be magic. Maybe it's real snow. It's like real snow. You put a hex on it, and it's just like it's just like there. It's so cool. It's like fairy. Oh, that's it. Ooh. It freezes your finger. Yeah. It's not. Very cold. Uh, but yeah, I it's, agree it's with cold. you. Like if you're gonna just paint them, <clears> maybe yeah. just buy the STLs. But if you really want that delicious finish i would have them do it um one point of note they will basically tailor 
um, to your needs. So if you have a specific yeah. theme in, in mind, you can email them over at Terrainify and they will work with you uh, to build uh, exactly what you're looking for in terms of the, the theme, right? Yeah. Um, so that is that is very, very cool. Now, yeah. um, a couple other things. I was just going to say, but like oh, some of them, they do have like a set of out-of-the-box finishes, do. like they 20 do. of them or something. Yeah, there's 22. a su substantial number. So, yeah, and that's interesting because you can keep going back if you want to keep building, and it'll be that consistent. And, and Aaron made a point, well, he can... He can demonstrate you, 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 it. No, I mean, I think you it's can, you. I think you just go you. for it. Well, we were we were looking at so we ordered these. I had to have been what four or five months ago, six yeah. months ago. We, you know, we just got these this week. Same theme. I, I can't tell the difference. Can you? No. I no, mean, you can lay this on top of. They look the same. Yeah, they, they look the same. Yeah, I mean, they did a good job again matching the paint finish right. as well as um, the and mix. One of their out of the box. Like in, I bet they pre mix. They probably have like a giant. A vat, giant vat, just like. Uh, like this is shop, broken you know? ground. The broken ground. <laughs> you know, with like those little like dials to like. Yeah. All right. So why don't we dive in? Um, oh, before we before we dive in, a couple of things. One, it's free shipping. If you order twenty five dollars more. That's a good deal. Okay. Twenty five is not that much money. It's not that much money. And okay. just from shipping a bunch of junk, I know shipping is not cheap these days. And guys, terrainify.com. That's the only website. You don't have to go to Etsy, eBay, none of that stuff. You go to terrainify.com, you will find everything there. And they don't have any store. distributors, I assume? All straight. Nope. Yeah. nope. Right now, it's all straight through terrainify.com. Yeah. yeah. So very good. Uh, which is, I think, which is, I think, good. Because you're getting, you're getting effectively wholesale price. How do they come packaged? They come packaged phenomenally. Uh, yeah. Everything's like, you know, bubble wrapped. And then on top of that, they paper it and they put it in a box, which is about bubble wrap around the outside, you know, the... the the interior perimeter Did they put of the box. Candy in with it? Uh, there was no candy inside mm -hmm. my box, unfortunately. Okay. Just a thing. Just a thing. Some people do. Sometimes it's like a little peppermint. Yeah, a little peppermint. thank you note. Yeah, a little peppermint. I did get I did get a little note. That's nice. It said, Don't screw up this review, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> stick to the <laughs> stick to the topic, you two. <laughs> Stop. Tell Tom not to go off script, <laughs> is what the note said. All right, so let's dive into these. So so these were, I believe, the step tills. These are called the dynamic hills. All right. And they let me pick out the theme that I wanted. So I, I wanted to match this theme. And we yeah. talked about this already. I mean, if, if you kind of lay these yeah. out, right, and we put these next to it, uh, I mean, it looks like it all just threads real nicely together. Yeah. So what I was impressed with was the fact that I could order some pieces in the summer and some pieces six months later. Yeah. I mean, it looks like I ordered them and they were all painted at the same time. That is really cool. I think that's really, really cool. Um, so, can I give them a piece of product advice? I don't know if they've thought advice. of it. Here, here's a free, um, free, free Tom Tit. Yeah, free Tom Tit. Um, it would be really cool if, where they made the slices, if they could make modular levels so you can just like stack them mm -hmm. and then meet up. That, that would be, be really cool. cool. So, like, you can take them apart or like stack them up. That would be cool. Stackable terrain, guys. Yeah. Leave in the comments. Is that something you would want to see for Battletech? I would think so, with all the different. Right, then, yeah, and then now you instantly have a different. A level three. Yeah. 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 I do think some of them might, you know, like you could probably find. I mean, of course, there's the, the lichen and stuff yeah, underneath. It doesn't you know, really matter. Doesn't that really that works out fine. You know, you can generally make it work. All right, so we're going to start by diving into. These, this, these are the these are the dynamic hill outcroppings, okay. So let's start with this one. Um, yeah. So what I like about this, Can all of these pieces, pieces, yeah. What I like about all these pieces is the is the size. So yeah. they they take up you know roughly you know maybe a, a four to six by four to six area on your table. It's not a lot, you know, but it's perfect yeah. for building. Little narrow, you know, pathways, little blocking line of sight, yeah. right? Things along. It's yeah. perfect. And yeah it's you can put you could put a little objective on it, absolutely. Yeah. You know, the mechs, there's enough room for them to get up if you want to jump them on top. Yeah. Um, you know, or use them as as a you know a cover, you know, you can get your little crab behind the hill. And that's what I was gonna say. You can kind of see how much each of them would provide in terms like this one you can get complete cover or you know, partial. Some of them only offer Right, maybe a partial for right. a larger mech. Right, and for those of you that play classic, it's very easy to say, all right, well, all of these count as level one hills, you know, or this, you know, whatever counts as a level two hill. Whatever you want to do, it's very, it's very easy, I think, to to kind of get to that 
um, that, you know, sort of differentiation and, and, and our, you know, sort of true line of sight, the way we play in Alpha Strike and things like that, to your point, I think it's really easy to see, um, you know, from one from one one to the other, like, you yeah. know, you can get down and see. I'll say one thing I like, too, about the, the Flocked is it's kind of grippy. It's actually, like... I like that, that, too. Way. I didn't yeah. think about that. Yeah. Actually, oh, look at that. Look at that way. crab. He's, he's, like, scaling that. Yeah, I mean, he's he looks like he just... He's jumping. Oh, and he just swung his legs over and jumped up. <laughs> I it's love it. Pretty good. I love it. Which one are you got more to say about them? No, Did I mean turn up. that one looks better that way. Um so they, they which all which one is your favorite? Which one's my favorite? Alright, so I have a clear <laughs> outstanding favorite and I hope it's the same one. Alright, so you're I'm, never gonna guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you which one my favorite one is. It's this one. Is it? Okay, that's a good one. Which one's yours? I think that one. You like that one? It, yeah. That one's like this crazy, like... It looks very natural, like the sort of plates yeah. of rocks sort of collided together, you yeah. know, millions like of years turn ago. Turn it around to face us again, and it like almost meets the surface. It's like very low. Really. This like, one, this one's kind of like that Yeah, too, that weird. one I like. These two were I probably... I like those ones that like naturally, you know, yeah. come out of the... I didn't even notice this piece here. This one I like a lot, actually. So yeah. now I'm kind of torn. I, I came out hot, but yeah. now I'm... They're all kind of my children at this point. I love when when they're the flocked. Answer. The one thing I, I think that really comes to life is like, like on this on this yeah. one right on D where you have the flocking kind of sort of interspersed in with the rock, yeah. right? And it really gives it, it like up. A, it really gives it like a realistic look. The other thing that's nice about it too is that it almost shows you where the flat levels would be. You know, mm -hmm. like this one's a good example. Like yes, you're like oh, you know, level two. Mm -hmm. it's, it's right there. Yeah. I was going to say, I like this one too because it comes up like this. Oh, super cool. Which you see a lot of turn that comes this way, but not right. like convex. Where, where like it's eroded out from, you know, yeah. from a, a river that's long since dried up. And I can already see the um, cover miser here. It'll be like, oh, I got covered. But then when you get down eye level, you're like, no, you don't, buddy. You no, you don't, you buddy. Got, you got an entire channel right to your torso. No cover. No cover, buddy. No cover. What, I, what I like is the same <laughs> thing we kind of did with these. You know, if we were to grab these bigger ones, right, you can kind of make these, um, you know, the, these passageways, right, these chasms for these mechs to, to yeah. kind of move through, right? I, I just think that's really, really slick. Right? Yeah, it, it makes and a it... jumping mech. Well, sucker. Sucker. Gotcha. Uh, Why don't we take a look at the snow one? Yeah, do we want right. to... Yeah, let's, let's slide these over to the side a little bit, right? We can move some of these mechs out of the way. You know, I, I love you all. Yeah, what I wanna what I wanna do though is I wanna take a look at some of these other terrain pieces. We can leave this one out. Which one is this again? This is B. Uh, this is B. Yeah, yeah. So this one's identical, right? They're identical. Oh no! What? I kid you not. I did not realize that. You had no idea. I had no idea. I, like, oh, wait, I can't on. believe I didn't notice they're that different. they're the same exact one. They're yeah, different. That's so funny. Well, that's the thing that's really cool about <laughs> these pieces. But we had the same. Remember when we had the unpainted one of the the step tails, totally. and we were I like. Didn't... No, you yeah. know, we, we were trying to figure out which one it is. And that's the cool thing I think about these pieces is that there's so much dimension to them. Yeah. You know, you could buy, well, I guess what I'm saying is you could buy five of those, put them on your table and like you wouldn't know. Yeah. You know, put them in different places, turn them different ways, you know. So, snow, let's talk about it. What isn't there to talk about? So first of all, the color of the stone is super cool. Um, wow, oh man, I didn't even notice. That's a really cool dark, like super black kind of volcanic looking rock. I like it. What and what is this one called? Ice and snow. I yeah, like it. and it's got the yellow grass. So, so whenever you get ice and snow, this will always be the base color. I mean again, you can customize, well, but I you go with their out of the box. Yeah, the out yeah. of the box one. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I mean I love like the the tundra um, the, the tufts of grass. Yeah. yeah, the grass and everything like that. Yes. Yeah. This guy's kinda this guy kinda fits. I think he looks really good. Same, same sort of stripe color. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really like it. I, I like two things I really like about it is one that they sculpt the snow. So it's not just again, like a dusting. Mm -hmm. It's noticeably a different style than just like flocking. They didn't just flock it with white. That's it's a like point. a solid thing. And it looks like it's mounded up. Um, I, I assume they probably use like a putty knife or something like that to sort of. That's interesting. Yeah. You know, it's now really that I'm cool looking effect. very closely at it, you're right. And and it's like, there's like, it almost looks like there's smooth parts that like are tracks. like the ice, right? Like where it's like, fro like where it's those tracks that like got frozen and there's yeah. like sort of the tufty snow. 
and some blown stone. It's really cool. definitely a lot of attention to detail there. And we'll have all, I'm sure you guys know this by now as you've seen already, but we'll get all these on the, the green screen or, or at least some sort of 360 and, and get some close Like that one makes me excited to do a snow map and I almost want to paint up mechs with snow camo for it. Oh, it'd be cool. We could, we could, we could call up Terranify and order some more. Yeah. I'll did like you know, one. did you know guys on your first order, you can get 25% off with a special code that Aaron will call you with yeah when you when you become a patron i will <laughs> you call my cell phone number and you get the code no just kidding d-e-t-h <laughs> d-e-a-f 25 <laughs> def 25 no no it's death d-e-a-t-h right sure is it yeah it sounds about right death 25 whatever it says on the screen yeah just follow the follow the prompts on the Prompt screen here does it have like for the worst <laughs> Uh, but if you want 25% off, it is it is in there. Um, so anyway, moving forward, let's look at the, the Forbidden Forest, as you call it. The Forbidden Forest, yes. So this was one of the themes. So they, they were like, oh, what themes do you think would be cool? And I was like, give me a snow one, and then I want to see the... I think it's called Old Forest. Ancient Forest. Old Forest. Is it? I think so. Old, Old forest. forest. Man, you're right. Forbidden Forest. So the one thing I love about this, this is, is F. This so this is, is the same as that other one. What this one? That one, yeah. Is this F really? No, that's E. This one's F. No, this one's F. It's got to be that one though. <laughs> it's got to be this one. one. It's got to be that one. It's this one. Wow. Okay. Oh my God, that was your favorite one. Yeah. Look at that. They, I you can't. Can I literally. It it's amazing. You put a different theme on it. It looks completely different. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, again, these two next to each other, you have no idea they're the same one. I agree with you. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, so I love this piece. I love the dark uh, coloration on the stone. Um, I, I, maybe even more than I like the lighter. I think the light goes better with the green, but I do really like this theme. And and I've never seen anything quite like the stuff that's on here. The it's burnt like, wood. The... It, yeah, dude. It's like yeah. it's literally looks like sticks and fallen trees and logs and everything I else. I assume it is. It must be some yeah. like thing you could buy. <laughs> it's like pop puree. <laughs> I can smell it. Yeah. Nope. Or, or like a uh, mulch. Yeah. Like some, it almost looks like mulch, like some form of like, you know, hobby mulch. I wonder if like, uh, you know, Woodland Scenics or somebody makes a, Oh, they must. For like that's what, that's what I think this probably is. Cause right? look, this is the same. This is like a rubberized, uh, mulch kind of thing. Okay. If you feel it. Oh yeah. That's really cool. I mean, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And then it uses like a super like a uh, emerald green lichen. It's really cool. Yeah. I, again, it just adds so much depth and it looks like, like the Pacific Northwest or something, yeah. you know, like just like layers and layers of decomposing wood and, you know, I wouldn't mind getting love it. like, honestly, I wouldn't mind getting the, like this whole set in multiple themes. Um, yeah. You know, and like, and like all the snow and like the old fart, like you could really, and even the volcanic rock one, which I, we've looked at online, like oh, that's so really cool. They do a great job with that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I think, you know, these are great pieces that can bring a tabletop to life and they don't, they don't cost a lot, right? They're certainly not yeah. as much as some of the bigger, you know, the bigger multi-part, like we've had some of the spire things that are like, they're enormous, right? Yeah. Um, so these are a little bit more cost effective, but you can get them in different themes. You know, I think it really brings, you know, if, if you like playing in different biomes. Yeah, I was going to say too, I wonder how many different like mats you can align with them. Like would this work for maybe three different, four different maps? Would yeah. this one work for a couple? And like, then you can get even another layer of variation. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know not just saying. positioning them, but then you just change the base map and mm -hmm. they'll probably look. Like, you put that on a white map, it'll look totally different, you know? Correct. Um, I'm sure it'll just pop. Like. Yeah, and, like, you know, honestly, this could go with this map. I mean, I know, like, yeah. the gray doesn't necessarily go with the with this particular tan or whatever. This syncs up almost seamlessly. That um, one, yeah, it's amazing which is how why, Which is why I picked it. There. But, you know, I think you could even get away with doing this, um, especially if you have, you know, like, good forest... Uh, built up around them and, and things like that, you yeah, know, that one makes me want to have some like really cool deciduous like like, like you know, big like spruces and things yeah, like that. yeah, big pine trees and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking the same. Are there any like really good trees out there? 
So all of the trees that we have are, are like the build your own good. kits. Yeah, yeah, they're like the woodland scenics or whatever the heck they are. Yeah. Um, and they go pretty nice with this stuff. However, Terrainify does have, uh, if you're interested, 3D printed trees. Really? Um, and they will paint them up for you. Will they do finish? Will they do um, canopies on them? That's a good question. I actually don't know that, and I'm sure we can find that out. And the paint, painstakingly, like. Yeah, I don't see them. why they wouldn't be able to. I mean, right? It's 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 the same material. If you really wanted them to, I'm sure they could. Snowy um, trees. Ooh, snowy, snowy trees. trees would be cool. Snowy trees would be cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's basically it. You know, we've got, again, these, these dynamic hill and hill cropping. This one, I'm Tell just me. thinking about it. Like, some larger, like, down trees and things. Like, like, like maybe some, like... Crisscross, like, like, pine trees <clears throat> knocked over, like the dead, like how we yeah. have the dead pines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Ooh, you can, cool. like, jump over them, they're, you know, cover. And, Rectingo. Yeah. Like, you could really, you could really set out a really cool, like, forest encounter. So you're saying we should order more of the old forest terrain? Not say anything. I guess I am. Yes. John, I'll be calling. I like all. No, it's hard. I, I have like, it. It's such good terrain. It just makes you like, oh man, we could really do like this kind of. You know, it really brings the tabletop to life. Yeah. I'm not just saying. That. I mean, it really does. Like, I want to use it in literally every single battle report, but I don't want to use the same stuff in every single battle report. But I use it. In, I you'll find them now all sorts of all sorts of places. But I think this is. Uh, some of the best uh, stuff that we've added to our collection in terms of, you know, like when I think about the buildings, like hardware studios, right? Like that yeah. elevated the, the level of and the our table. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, and they're consistent, like the styles, right. the, the sizing and everything. Like you can build out a collection of high quality and it, and it has a thematic sort of right. appeal. And it's the you same know, with cool this. Cool and towers and all that crap. And yeah. then this stuff is like, all the natural stuff that hardware studios does not yeah. offer. Right. And it's just, it's, it's, it's awesome to have this stuff. And I will tell you like the finishing on this stuff though is next level. If hardware studios offered finished stuff, like I would buy it. Um, yes, yeah, stuff painting is, buildings is a slog. It's a slog. I mean, painting terrain, I got, God bless John and his team of artists. Like not only is this stuff hard to do, but it's so consistently well done. Yeah. It's impressive. Um, it really is. I mean, they definitely get my, my nod of approval. Um, this reminds me of like a map is loading kind of before the skin yeah, goes like on. Yeah. Or did it used to start from the top? Down? All right. Pop, pop quiz. Okay. Which one is that? Ooh, which one is it? Okay. Okay. I got this. I got this. Um, uh, is this one? very good. Very is good. B. No, no, it's C. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got it. B is the, 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 the B the, is the bolt B for bulbous B for bulbous C for all right yeah anyway so final thoughts i love this terrain i want to just play with it all day uh that's that's basically what it what it comes down to i mean yeah i'm you getting know, distracted like playing just, around with it it's, it's so great. cool right yeah kid in a candy shop all right so guys uh a couple of things number one head on over to terrainify.com stop waiting order today uh, it's really phenomenal stuff. Yeah. And if you don't want to spring for the fully loaded uh, stuff, I know a lot of you guys, you know, do your own arts and crafts time. That's phenomenal. Just buy them. Yeah. Uh, un, un, you know, unpainted. Just, just but print you can it. only play with unpainted minis. On unpainted terrain. On unpainted that's, terrain. That's true. You can't put a painted mini. Well, I don't know. It could be Lunar. Get away with Lunar Skate. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. You get away with it. It's It's Moon. But if you want to do your own, you can certainly just buy uh, the un the unpainted versions, or if you have a three D printer, uh, you can. Have just you buy painted the any of this unpainted yet? I have not. I'm curious. Ask me if I painted Maxstrom Wave One Kickstarter Tom. Have you painted Wave? I have not. Wave One Max. No. Neither have I. So I still have I still have stuff that's unpainted. I'm still working. Join the club. It. Still working. That's like it. one of the main topics I hear, on like oh I'm so glad the Kickstarter got delayed a little. Because I still have mechs that I haven't painted. Yeah, yeah. So no, I have not painted. But uh, I don't know. Actually, we have we have a spire. We have one of those, and now we have one of these. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe a Patreon giveaway, Tom. A challenge, a veteran challenge. Ooh, yeah. I mean, yeah. These are really nice. Could 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 happen. Could happen. <laughs> or it won't happen because Tom stole it all. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we should wrap this one up. What do you think? 
Yeah, I, I think we've gone through. Uh, it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little little dive into uh, Terrainify's next set of, uh, of goodies. And if you are into other games, if you play That Will Shall Not Be Named, Warhammer 40,000, uh, any of those 28 millimeter games, they also have a whole bunch of like ruins and stuff. Very, very cool. Uh, and you can get those painted and fully finished, same deals, right? But they have a lot of that stuff too that's pretty cool, objective markers and like ghost flames and goofy Eldar things uh, if you're into that stuff. So definitely check that out. Um, but otherwise, that's it. I'm all done. Guys, again, don't forget to check out Terrainify. Don't forget to check out uh, us by subscribing and going to our Patreon. And other than that, I got nothing, Tom. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.